Hey LinkedIn, what's up? So today we're actually gonna take a step back. Um, I know we were, the last video was on uh, EP3, specifically on duct detectors. We're gonna go back to a previous post. Uh, a few weeks ago, we did a post on uh, tamper switches, um, water flow switches, higher pressure alarm switches, and I got several messages and comments asking to go through the components and how to test a butterfly valve with a with integral tamper switches. Um, so and it you know I said why not? So that's what we're gonna do. And it just so happens that we have here a butterfly valve with integral tamper switches that has been disassembled. So we can talk through the basic components of how this works. So this actually attaches to your pipe using your, your Vic, Vic couplings. Um, we got a baffle inside the pipe. That's what actually shuts off the water flow whenever you close the valve. You got your hand wheel. Um, and then here's the cool part. So I'm gonna set down my phone and we'll go through all these components. So these valves come with integral switches built into them here. Um, these switches uh, go off uh, based on the position of your main gear, um, which is which controls controls the baffle on the inside of the pipe. So there's a there's two switches. There's a, a switch in the back that's your that's your primary supervisory switch. And there's a switch in the front that's an auxiliary switch. Auxiliary switch that can be used for other things. Um, so we've got set screws on both sides that prevent the gear from turning too far. You can see them there, right? So those can be uh, adjusted on the outside um, and. You can see that our gear sticks out a little bit right here. That's because it's compressing down those micro, the levers on those micro switches right now. So code requires, as you recall, that the micro switch or that the tamper switch has to send a signal, supervisory signal, to the fire alarm panel within two full revolutions. So let's try it. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. You hear that? So that was one full turn right there. So it did it in less than two turns. So, and what it does is it's relieving that pressure on that on this lever and releasing those micro switches uh, right there. And that's what actually sends the signal. So um, a few other things to, to understand. Look, you know what, this is a UL listed assembly. Um, so when, when somebody comes to you and says, hey, your butterfly valve isn't working, it's not sending a signal. Some of these can be can be modified, right? I mean, it's clear that you can put in new micro switches. What you need to understand about that is that you lose your UL listing at that point, right? So even if you do a like for like exactly, uh, exactly like it is, you've now field modified um, a UL listed component. Okay, so um, and and clearly, you know, is it is it going to cause issues? Highly likely not, right? I mean, it's a micro switch, so it's a, it's a very simple technology. But you have to understand the pros and cons and weigh the direction that you're gonna go. Um, you can buy this switch online. This one right here, I looked it up, it's $4, right? Well, so what's the benefit of, of replacing the switch? Um, well, you, you're not gonna have um, the costs associated with shutting down your sprinkler system, disassembling your pipe, removing the valve, um, having your fire alarm contractor out there to, to rehook everything up. I mean, so there's, there's a lot that goes into replacing the entire valve, right? Versus literally removing the cover, replacing the micro switch. But you gotta understand that some manufacturers don't allow it. Uh, you also have to understand that you lose your, your UL listing. So uh, I'm not saying one way or another what you need to do. I'm just telling you about the, the components associated with it and the common failures that, that happen. The, the micro switch is by far the most common failure on these. Uh, these valves. So just something to consider um, as you're as you're moving forward with it. So that is right there a uh, butterfly valve with an integral tamper switch. Um, hope you guys found it useful uh, and please reach out with any questions and uh, happy to take pictures or whatever you guys need uh, to, to keep keep pushing you forward and, and learning about these different components. Happy learning.